Back here on the GSMC Chip Shot Football Podcast and now talking some more about a different quarterback in this regard. Not a rookie quarterback, but someone that was drafted very late in a couple years ago, in the draft a couple years ago, that being Brock Purdy. Now obviously turning into this superstar quarterback to some. There are some that still doubt him, but I am a believer in Brock. I think he is better than a lot of people give him credit. But because I hold him so high, I feel like he should be treated like a starting high caliber quarterback, right? And what happened over the weekend wouldn't happen to any other elite high caliber quarterback, which, you know, raised a lot of questions and sent some criticism over to Kyle Shanahan as well um, from some people because Brock Purdy got his first action of the preseason on Sunday versus the Saints, and he didn't play too much. He only played three series in San Francisco's win over the Saints, about 11 snaps. He went two for six with 11 yards it's not impressive too much you know it is the preseason he only played three series so take those numbers as you will um it almost just felt like he was just out there to get the body moving a little bit right um I don't have a problem with it I'd like to see quarterbacks play in the preseason but the way that it was set up for Brock was a little bit questionable or very questionable actually because the weird part about this is that Brock Purdy played all three of those series with second and third string players from the 49ers and already that seems backwards and that seems wrong in every sense of the matter just because you do acknowledge the fact that you almost struck you struck gold finding Brock Purdy and the fact that he is this great that's awesome for the 49ers you know to get him that late and be your franchise quarterback that's awesome but um you got to you got to protect that guy you got to treat him accordingly and I'm not saying that the draft spot really influences at all but um you got to value it a little bit more I feel like you know you got to value Brock some more because to put him out there with second and third stringers it's just calling for something to go wrong where it could have been easily avoided by playing all the starters and all the starting offensive line yeah Trent Williams might not be there that, that's only one position but you have to throw him out there with Debo Uh, George and all the starting offensive linemen at least I know Christian McCaffrey's hurt but a bunch of those guys could have played but they didn't and the fact that you threw him out there with second and third stringers is just backwards and it shouldn't have happened really and uh, Kyle Shanahan had a statement to say after the game sort of explaining why but also just giving his thoughts on his sentiment on why you know, this happened, why he decided to play Brock Purdy out there. He said, just thought it'd be a, it'd be good for him to get a couple of drives in. We were hoping it would be one long drive just to get him out, similar to what Brandon Allen had last week. But we had, I think it was two, three and outs. So I didn't want to go past that. And after that statement, he said, it felt good with, or it felt good with the guys that we were, that we had in there. So, um, not really explaining too much why he was out there with the second and third stringers, but again, it seems like this was just coming from a spot that, like I said before, that he just wanted to get Brock Purdy out there, give him some action, and just get his feet wet a little bit in the preseason, which I'm fully a fan of. I'm a full believer in that you should have your starters out there for a game. Two games is all right with me if a coach decides only one game. That's his decision, but... I want to see them out there at least for a couple of drives, at least. I don't like really how Kirk Cousins isn't playing. Aaron Rodgers probably isn't going to play. Josh Allen really hasn't played. Um, Also, I'm sure I'm missing a couple, but those guys really, I would have liked to have seen them play a drive, two drives, a quarter, even a half for some of these guys in one game or multiple games. I feel like that really helps in getting everything moving and really highlighting a lot of the times what you don't do right. Um, It is a common thing, you know, in the preseason, it does highlight what you need to do better. But again, you take it with a grain of salt because it's only the preseason. I'm a big uh, proponent of that. Not to take it too seriously, but you do get to see different looks, different defenses, different um, just experience than you would in practice. So that's why I believe it's always good to get your starters out there, but the context of it matters where you can't you can't have your quarterback, especially the quarterback. If you have a receiver out there, maybe you throw him in there with the backup quarterback or 
um, with the backup offensive lineman, that doesn't matter. Um, but your quarterback, to have him out there with backup offensive line, backup receivers, and things like that, it really doesn't make too much sense. And uh, Brock Purdy actually echoed the same willingness to play, to go out there that Kyle Shanahan kind of mentioned. Um, uh, he said he wanted to be out there when they asked him. You know, they actually approached him to see if he wanted to play, and he said that he would. He added, um, honestly, it's those things that I liked, just the idea of playing in a preseason game to feel again before the season gets here and everything. It's good reps for me. It's a good feeling for me as a quarterback, so I didn't mind it. Um, I don't think he was ever going to say that he shouldn't be out there with second stringers. He was obviously never going to say that, but he's also echoing the same thing. You know, to be out there is great. Get a feel for it. See some of your deficiencies before the season actually starts is a good thing. That's why when I'm seeing everybody kill Russell Wilson, kill the Steelers offense for um, how bad they're performing, at least it's not the regular season, right? At least you're not carrying this into week one, week two, and then then that's when it is a problem. But um, again, there is context that comes with it. You know, you ask Brock Purdy if he wants to be out there. He says yes, so yeah, the other starters might not want to play out there. Maybe they didn't think they were going to play, but if your quarterback is going out there, you have to Make, you almost have to make those guys go out there, even if they don't want to, even if they didn't know they were going to play. The quarterback's going out there, so at least all you offensive linemen are going out there. That's the least you could do for your starting quarterback. And maybe they didn't want to go out there. Maybe that, that wasn't the plan, like I said before. But um, Brock, being a leader, being a big voice in that um, locker room, you know, if he said he wants to play, and then maybe if he approached his teammates, they would have, I think, backed him up on that. They would have... Um, agreed that they could all go out there because they also know all those players, all those starters know that if Brock Purdy's out there and he gets hurt, this season for the 49ers is almost as good as um, not completely done, but it's not the same expectation, obviously, because you saw what happened when he didn't play in the NFC Championship game against the Eagles. If you injure him like this for a silly decision like this, not only do you lose him and your team, the expectations drop, but it looks bad on Kyle Shanahan, who is under a lot of pressure already to win a Super Bowl, and then you get Brock Purdy hurt doing something like this. It looks bad. It looks relatively amateur in a way, um, but also it shows a lot of the trust that Kyle Shanahan has in Brock Purdy to go out there and not get hurt. Um, so I guess you could chalk that off chalk that up as a positive um but again it was just a weird decision even on the NFL network they had Brian Baldinger mention how um some of these wide receivers were stepping out of bounds the left tackle and the right tackle weren't blocking there was a play where Chase Young broke through the line and he was chasing Brock Purdy very early on in that game and that probably had a lot of fans you know had their heart had their hearts drop in that moment where um you see Brock Purdy being chased down like that and the last thing you want to do is see him get hit or driven into the ground and that way um, the whole air in that stadium leaves in just an instant when he hits the ground hard he's he's slow to get up or anything like that I feel like this could have easily been avoided um, especially because after this game Kyle Shanahan said that Brock Purdy will be playing in their third preseason game at the Las Vegas Raiders but this time, obviously, all or most of the starters will be out there with him. But um, I don't know. It felt like that was the original plan. And almost like if I were to guess that they asked Brock if he wanted to play with the idea, the intention that they weren't going to play any starters. But because Brock said yes, they figured, all right, let's just throw him out there for one long drive like Kyle Shanahan said. It didn't go to plan, so they had him out there for three drives and yeah, it is risky. It shows the trust that Shanahan has in Brock, but I feel like this wasn't supposed to happen like this. It feels like they were only supposed to play the third preseason game, but because of who Brock is wanting to be out there and get those reps in, they had to change it up a little bit. It did cause all this stir in the media, which isn't great, but, um, you know, I guess in hindsight, looking at it now, nothing really happened. You know, Brock's all right, but you can't, 
you can't mess around like this, obviously, if you're the 49ers and you have your franchise quarterback out there. We got to be a little bit smarter um, with this. I'm sure some 49ers fans weren't happy, but at the end of the day, luckily nothing happened to Brock Purdy and we can move on to next week, the final week of the preseason. But we're also going to move on on this show. We have one more segment to talk about in regards to the new kickoff rules. Some still potential changes coming to the format. I'll provide you guys with some quotes on what the state of uh, those changes are at this point in time and just some questions I still have with the new kickoff format as well. So stick around. We'll be right back quickly to talk about some changes coming to potentially the new kickoff format. 